What is going on guys, your boy Joey 672 coming to you guys with the video right now. So I kind of want to talk about obviously the coaching situation. Just talk about Josh McDaniels um, with his interview with the Philadelphia Eagles today. See how that goes. Now, look, this isn't one of my favorite guys because I'm very up and down about Josh McDaniels. But the one thing I do know is that he is... The guy works his butt off to have something successful with a franchise and honestly will do anything for that to happen. Now, the problem that I'm having right now is that the Eagles and Jeff Lurie and Howie Roseman are afraid to give control. And, and this is what it's just not fair. Like news already came out. If you see by the tweets on the screen right now, news came out by Joe Banner and a couple others on Twitter that this Eagles job opening is not really intriguing to any coaching candidates right now and i and i agree why they definitely see how howie roseman operates that's number one number two the head coaches have no control the eagles promise they promise that there's gonna you know the head coach will have control of the like how can you say like how can a report come out from close sources to say that the eagles are going to give the head coach full control of the QB situation. But we really want Carson Wentz back in 2021. So if you go to an interview and say, hey, I want to be your head coach. I like this franchise. I need Carson Wentz out of the building. Or I can't work with Carson. Carson Wentz is not my type of quarterback. Something needs to be done if you want me to be your coach. And if they say no, then bye-bye. See you later. This is why I think it's what the Eagles are doing. It's not fair. It's not fair towards somebody that wants a head coaching job. So what? The head coaching job is just for the coach and that's it. No control over anything. The head coach needs to say in a lot of things. Not to say something and have it be ruled over by two people. The owner and the GM. Okay. There's already rumors that Josh McDaniels already put his staff together his coaching staff already putting his coaching staff together and this is before being hired or not even being hired yet and you're putting your staff together which kind of questions me on is josh mcdaniels the guy for philadelphia i don't know what howie roseman and and jeffrey lurie are doing are it's just so unfair it's just so like we need a head coach but you're limited to what you could do here and what do you want here? What do you want? Do you want a head coach to make some decisions to make your franchise better? Or do you just want a, a puppet in the building? Because honestly, it just annoys me. Okay? It just really annoys me. Because at this point, guys, at the end of the day, that puppet, that scapegoat is going to be Deuce Staley at the end of the day. If they figure that they don't have enough interest, which is really sad. Okay? The drama with Carson Wentz is just one of the problems here that a head coach is going to have to run into right now. Thank you, Jeffrey Lurie, and thank you, Howie Roseman, for that. Since the draft, since the very beginning, the very beginning of it all. But you're going to ask a head coach to come in here, but they have to agree to your rules? Look, I understand there's rules you have to follow, but... These head coaches are brought in, and obviously Josh McDaniels, if he's brought in, I'm not just saying him. His picture's up there right now, but there was more new. Obviously, I have him up there because he's going to be talking with the Eagles today in Florida, okay, for the head coaching job. No, not my favorite target. Definitely not. But you know what? If, he, if they sign him, it is what it is. Like, I'm not going to be... Every coach is a gamble. Um, every anybody you sign, whether it's these coaching candidates that are in the playoffs, guys, this team has more problems than you can believe. And you think of getting, you know, everyone's so picky over getting what head coach to get. I understand, I understand that. But at the end of the day, like we have, we have so much more work to do. It's not even funny right now. We have the sixth overall pick of the draft. I mean, there's a lot going. I think what really makes this, you know, what maybe will interest a team more is because we have a top 10 pick this year. You know, maybe you'll interest a candidate a lot more. But, you know, to come out and say, hey, we're going to give a head coach full control of the QB roster and blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. And then you go to say, but 
we really want Carson Wentz here in 2021. But it would nice to be hear the truth one time would be nice to hear maybe Carson doesn't want to come back. And if he doesn't, it's over. He's got to get traded. It's done. Don't keep a guy on the roster that doesn't want to be here. Period. Okay, the only teams that need really coaches right now are the Chargers um, and the Eagles. It seems like the Chargers might take a shot at Brian DeBall, the coordinator, uh, offensive coordinator for the Bills. So that might happen. Texans are already eyeing somebody I've never even heard of. There's a lot of things going on here. You know, I'm not saying, you know, I understand they don't want to go through another Chip Kelly problem again where they give someone too much power. I understand that. But, man, let let a head coach put his two cents and let him help with the draft. Let him do something. like, And that's why this job isn't intriguing to no candidates because the Carson Wentz drama, how Howie Roseman and Jeffrey Lurie have operated all year, and all a candidate has to do is look at the Eagles season and, and just hear what happened the whole entire season and, and the QB controversy and Doug's lame press conferences and just every little thing. And yeah, it probably strays a lot of people away. A lot of candidates probably stray away from this position. I don't blame them. Okay. At the end of the day, a job is a job. And somebody will be the new coach for the Philadelphia Eagles. That's why Deuce Staley is such an easy candidate because the players already like him. But he's easy to get blamed for stuff. It's easy to run Deuce Staley out of town if he fails. Because it's just going to make Howie Roseman and Jeffrey Lurie look better. Which it doesn't. But they're they're untouched. You know what I mean? So at this point, I don't know what to say about it. I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy the way they're they're, they're even taking this offseason. The only thing I can respect them for this offseason is they're really taking their sweet time to get a head coach. They're really doing their due uh, diligence, taking their sweet time to get a head coach, and they're not rushing to get the first guy that's available. They've done a few interviews already. They're going to be meeting with uh, Bradley, uh, uh, Brandon Staley uh, tomorrow uh, for, you know, the defensive coordinator for the Rams uh, interview there. And obviously Josh McDaniels today, and then obviously they're waiting on Eric Bieniemy and um, you know and and Brian DeBall if he's available because I've seen there was interest, but they haven't requested an interview with him yet. So a lot on the table right now. And if the Eagles want to get this straight, they they need to get a head coach in here, and they need to at least give him some control. Um, and if it's Josh McDaniels, then so be it, because at least Josh McDaniels, what I know he will do is I know he pushes. He pushes his players, and that's the one thing I know Josh McDaniels does, and he and he pushes them hard, um, and that's what I want here. I don't want anyone getting away with with robbery here, um, and, and not playing to their full standard. And obviously, if Josh McDaniels sees that this guy shouldn't start, he shouldn't start. He shouldn't have to go upstairs and be like, "Hey, this guy is starting this Sunday. I don't know why he is, but he shouldn't. The other guy should be." You know what I mean? Like and and this is why a head coach is going to get overruled here. That's why this nobody wants to take this job. So, they better change their standards of what they're doing because you're going to be running into another bad season. We'll see what happens. I'll see you guys later. Chicks going up. Follow us fly. Peace out, guys. Peace.